So now temperatures plummeted at the weekend with uh, many areas in Scotland, mm, Northern England and Wales experiencing freezing cold weather and snow. Yes, I'm not sure if it's too early yet. You know, like, I like that when it's Christmas. Mm. It just seems a bit too soon. We can't hardly grumble, really, because it's been quite mild know, up until now. I know, I know. I always mind about the weather, though. So. <laughs> uh, in fact, you know, in Shropshire Council, we're preparing for the cold snap. So they've been in touch with us. They held a competition to name one of their winter gritters. That was hard to say. They've tweeted, the votes have been counted, it's official. One of Shropshire's gritters is to be named Philip Snowfield. Did I get it? You Did I heard it. about this you at the weekend? It. I knew I was in the running, but am I a gritter? <laughs> Oh, man, You're that is an honour. Uh, thank you very much indeed if you voted. Much appreciated. <laughs> thank you. Right, we've got Phil Vickery here now. He's going to warm you up. Uh, he yes. recreates one of Rochelle's favourites, uh, lamb, mm. stew and dumpling. Hang on, is that an official? You're a council gritter. <laughs> I'm, my, na my name is on a council gritter in Shropshire. We need Philip a picture Snowfield, of it now. The, the Forget, the OBE. Forget the OBE. I know. Yeah, yeah, council gritter. That's, that's, I'm happy now. Who that's what he was that? longing for, <laughs> exactly. Anyway, there you go. Here it is. There it is. There, look. There we are. Oh. Look at that. Very simple dish. Um, I have to say that the dumpling recipe is my mum's. I've adjusted oh, it really? slightly. Okay. Adjusted? Just slightly, but don't tell her that. Oh, no. Um, no, 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 no. But it's very simple. And, and the thing about this dish is you can actually cook it on the stove, uh, the first part, certainly. Okay. Uh, but then you need the oven just to, to brown the dumplings. Now, somebody's already tweeted me and said, can you make this in a slow cook? You can. You can put the dumplings in, but they won't crisp on top, like that picture there. Right. They'll be like, like a boiled dumpling yeah. that we used to have when I was a kid. Because I'm a slow cooker girl. I yep. kind of do it all before work and just leave it there, yep. and then you get back and you know it's ready. Cool. So there no crisp. Very simple. So here we've got... Um, this is shoulder of lamb. Uh, it's around about a 15 to 20 percent fat content. Uh, the leg of lamb is fine, but it goes slightly dry, so you need to be slightly careful. So I always use a shoulder of lamb, and I've, I've already got some brown, so I'm just going to pop this into here, just to almost finish it off. And I don't want to touch it, so I say washing my hands. So you can lightly brown the lamb, as you see here, and I've I've already done this already, so you can see that that lovely yeah. this, this part of the stew. That's here. the tasty. It's yeah. Delicious. So that's how long, would you, how long would you brown it for? Well, I did it in two batches for around yeah. about three to four minutes in each batch. Yeah. Um, the trouble, what you've got to be slightly careful of is a lot of meat these days is fat packed. Yeah. So right. basically, that means that there is moisture in it. Yeah. So if you do too much, it'll get watery. Yes, it does go watery. However, if, if you put it into a pan and cook it, the water will drive off. Right. And it will eventually brown. So don't... If, if you look at your meat, it's very watery. Yeah. Keep it going, it will brown eventually. Right, OK. Because you'll render the fat out. Does so, it matter if it's watery, if it's going to be in a stew? Uh, well, anyway. it's, it's an interesting debate. I think it does, because I think... OK, if you're blindfolded, would you know the difference when you're eating it? Mm -hmm. But aesthetically, when you see it, you mm. probably would know right, the difference. Okay. And you tend to, you know, eyes tend to do yeah. that. So that's brown. And all I chuck in then is here, I've got carrots and onions in the go straight in like that, potatoes and celery. I'm not a huge lover of celery no. uh, as a, uh, raw. I love raw Do celery. Do you? I, I just find... I don't know. I think it's one of my Auntie Gwen used to stuff it into us when we were kids. Did she? Just, yeah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> a, a fan. Or in a that's juice, what, that's, I always... That's the only reason you've got a belly button. What's Pardon? that, for celery? Yeah, when you're eating celery in bed, you put salt in there so you can dip <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, the vision oh, of that oh, makes oh. me... Oh, I want to hear more of this. Yeah, Welcome girls. to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. No, you're not. Go on, go on, go on. I don't want to hear more of this bit. Oh, poor Mrs S. <laughs> <laughs> That's not just a box set tonight, love. <laughs> yeah, get, get your celery out. Did <laughs> we get the song? Sorry, no. <laughs> right. Lamb stock cube, yeah. on it goes. And then enough water just to cover the meat, like so. Nice. Now... You can thicken it at this point here. The reason why I haven't done it now is that if you put the flour in at the start, you can soak up the fat, that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. If it's going in the oven, it's OK. If you're going to cook it on top of the stove, and I don't put this in now because it will yeah. catch. OK, so it's really up to you. Thicken it afterwards or you can thicken it beforehand. A little bit of tomato. I just pepper. would never trust myself putting flour in. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's, it's fine if you put it into the, into the flour, into the, um, the fat. Mm -hmm. If you're going to put it into liquid, then you need to mix it with a bit of water and then you, you right. don't get lumps. And did you season that? Is that herbs? Uh, oh, no I herbs won't put, or anything no, like no, that? No, no, a bit of pepper because we've got the stock cube in there and that's pretty much in there. Okay. In the oven for one hour. Yep. OK. At the, at the hour point, you've taken out the oven I've got on the stove there and these are dumplings. Right. Stir frozen flour. Yes. Suet. In that goes. Okay. You can use butter. I use suet. Right. I then put a tablespoon of mint sauce or mm -hmm. mint jelly into there. Mint like, jelly's my favourite. A little bit of fresh mint oh. if you've got it, you don't have to. Salt, lots and lots of pepper, like so. Mm. And then I add an egg. 
Now, a lot of people, my mum doesn't add an egg. But the thing about an egg is, if you put a bit too much liquid in or you leave it in the oven for a bit longer, mm -hmm. it holds them together, otherwise they fall apart. Right, OK. So I add a little touch of water as well, just to bring the whole thing together. And it's pretty much as, as easy as that. Be careful adding too much liquid at the start, otherwise there will be... See, it is easy. It do, you know, that, that does look simple. It does. I always just buy them frozen and just drop them in at the end, which and, is and so Do you know what's wrong with that? Oh, if, no, not really. If you no. want to... Is that the frozen aunt again? The aunt. The frozen your auntie, aunt. She does... The, frozen, <laughs> the, the famous <laughs> frozen aunt. She does good Yorkshires. Does she? Yeah. yeah. She's fabulous. Right. And then, that'll be... She is Bessie, isn't she? She's Bessie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, mind your head. <laughs> so then we do, I just make up the... Um, like that, you see? Let me get a nice little round of that. Okay. In that goes. Oh, right. Now, at, this, at the hour that's point, yeah. you then take off the stew that's bubbling away there. Turn it off. And then you drop in the dumplings. In it goes, like so. Back into the oven. Turn it up to around about 200. <laughs> it was 180 before. With the lid or no lid? No lid. No lid. Like that. One hour later. Oh, Out look. it comes. You've got this one here. <gasps> and we've let, that, we've let that rest for a few minutes. You need to let it for 20 minutes. 20 rest minutes for 20 minutes. Rest. Yeah, oh, it's too hot. Off you go. A bit of mashed potato. Oh my it's God. Not, that's a fork's over shelf back there. Thank you. There's mashed potatoes and peas, and there it is. Look oh. at that little beauty there. What a dream. I'm Good assuming it smells I can just gorgeous. Get stuck yeah, no, in go there. for it. Yeah. It freezes well. Sometimes we put a bit of black pudding in to give it a seasoning. Oh, wow. I like that idea. Just a sprinkling, and sometimes a bit of pearl barley, but the dumpling is lovely. Pearl barley, I love. I know you're not a lover, Philip. Do you know what I like? Oh. Is the fact you've got a crispy top mm. on that. Yeah, and a soggy bottom. Crispy top, soggy bottom on the, on the dumpling. <laughs> mm. There it is. Salty celery stick. Mm -hmm. And a salty <laughs> celery stick. There you go. Mm. And a council gritter. Thank you. <laughs> what, what more can you want in life? That is very good. Thank you very much, Phil, for the, all the four recipes. Take a look at our This Morning app.